Well, we've seen some crazy things at this very racetrack. Matt Crafton could be sitting in the catbird seat, as they say. I like his spot right there, but as <laughs> yeah. Bud said, they're not real good on the restarts. And yeah. Rick Crawford on the last restart was all over that 88 of Matt Crafton. So uh, Matt really needs to get that thing going. And in the event that something goes on with a 33 and the 99, maybe he can take advantage. When they come to the start finish line, there will be two to go before we see the green flag in the air. And then there will be a two lap race to the finish. We only have one attempt at a green white checker. Two of the last three races at Memphis ended with a green white checkered finish. It's going to make three out of four, isn't it? Three out of four now, and it will be the second green white checker of the 2008 season. The last time was at another short track, and that was Mansfield. And we had three trucks going in turn three on the last lap, <laughs> three abreast. Three abreast at a short track on the last lap going into turn three. And it was Donnie Leah who came out victorious that afternoon. You know, who will it be here? I don't know why Ron Hornaday won't let Eric Darnell lead to get five points. I, I thought it was very nice to even ask. Yeah, a lot of times they do that kind of thing. Yeah, maybe teammates not, normally. Maybe do. not quite this late in the going. Though. You got to give him credit, though, that he did ask. <laughs> he did ask. Can you imagine Ron Hornaday when Rick Ren would say, hey, by the way, why don't you let that 99 lead, lead a lap here? <laughs> uh, what? Excuse me? Average starting position of Memphis winner, 3.4. Guess what? Ron Hornaday started third. History may repeat itself again at this racetrack. Again and again. Yeah, we, uh, we've never had a winner come from outside the top ten. Right now, both Ron Hornaday and Eric Darnell both started in the top five. Ron third and Eric fourth. Matt Crafton is the guy right now that started outside the top ten. There's Lindy <laughs> Hornaday right there anxiously watching. She's seen a lot of these. Oh, yes. Ron Hornaday, what has he won? 30 35, 35 36 times, races, 30, something like that. 39, 47. He, he keeps adding up his wins. <laughs> 35, 35, I think. 35 wins the last time it was Texas earlier this year. I'm trying to make it three wins for the 2008 season. All the crews can do now is cheer on their drivers. It's all in the hands of the guys behind the wheels. They come out of turn number four. Hornaday about to get back in the gas. Green flag back in the air. We're racing at Memphis Motorsports Park. Well, Ron Hornaday was right on the money. He restarted right exactly at the restart line. But watch that battle for third right there. Remember, the 88's not that good for a couple laps, but he's got him about a truck length over Rick Crawford right now. Everyone tame with the exception of Brendan gone. He has problems through one and two, gets all the way up into the wall and slowed on the racetrack. But they continue to race, coming out of turn four. White flag in the air, one to go for Hornaday. Jack Sprague trying to battle on that 11 truck of David Starr. Hornaday looks like he's got it. He's got about two truck lengths off for two. Down the back stretch he goes. Ron Hornaday won the very first race at Memphis Motorsports Park back in 1998. Looking to make it two wins from this racetrack. Eric Darnell gives it all he's got. Can't catch him. Hornaday wins at Memphis. And with this win comes the point lead after our point leader Johnny Benson has trouble early on. Ron Hornaday wins at Memphis, moves to the top of the charts in the points, and Lindy Hornaday celebrating with the team. Great job by Ron Hornaday on that restart. He did not jump early, he didn't go late, he went exactly at the restart point, but didn't spin the tires and eased out to about a, car, a truck length lead over Eric Darnell. Eric was not able to battle back. That is a veteran in Ron Hornaday. 36 wins for Ron Hornaday. Let's go to winning crew chief. Ray Dunlap. You're not the winning crew no, chief, No, I'll, I'll get Rick Ran. He's getting a hug here from Lindy. And uh, back to the point lead, Rick. It's total domination tonight. You guys uh, really were on your game. Well, you know, yesterday in practice, us and the 23 truck were pretty much like really sporty. So uh, we, we had to sit down and work. I mean, uh, I read notes last night, read notes all morning, and we made four changes to that truck, even as good as it was last night, because I knew we were going to have to race at 23. Ron, Ron felt bad that he got in the back of him, but the 23 broke, and that's a shame, because it would have been a good race, because they're good races. It was a good race. Congratulations on the win, and guys, get this. Hornaday came on the radio and said, an Elvis trophy. We finally got the Elvis trophy. So that should be fun to watch the celebration in Victory Lane.
fireworks overhead. There were fireworks on the racetrack tonight. Morning, they talked about it before even the start of this race. He said it's the last time we're going to see the Elvis Trophy. I'd really love to get an Elvis Trophy at Memphis Motorsports Park. It's win number two, but it will be the first Elvis Trophy for Hornaday. We'll see it presented when we come back. Welcome back. The O'Reilly 200 presented on speed by Toyota. Won by the 33 of Ron Hornaday as he is about to climb out of the truck. Let's go down to Ray Dunlap. And here he comes out of that Camping World Chevrolet for win number 36, his second victory at Memphis Motorsports Park, but his first chance to get the Elvis Trophy. They just brought a FedEx truck here and rolled it into victory lane, getting congratulations from Crew Chief Rick Wren. And guess what? An Elvis Trophy. That ought to look nice on the mantle. Yeah, uh, before we even start anything, uh, Eric Darnell uh, lost his, uh, his, his buddy. Uh, yeah, I know he wanted to win that race. and. Uh, he was a, a good friend of ours, and he comes to the house all the time. And uh, I thought some prayers were with just Jason's uh, family, but uh, Todd Braun, fam, uh, mom, sorry, buddy, love you. But uh, other than that, this Camping World Chevrolet. You know, I, I come off the corner. I've been tight behind Johnny, and and uh, I never let, ever thought I'd get in the back of Johnny. And just uh, he just started got a little sideways, and I was turning down underneath him, and I tapped him, and I tried to get off him, and uh, just lost the momentum. He broke both tires loose. But Johnny had the truck to beat, and uh, I, that's all I can say. I mean. Camping with Chevrolet was good, but uh, we were tight in the center. Johnny was awesome, and congratulations, Derek Darnell. And I finally won this Memphis Trophy. I wanted this guy so bad, and uh, Tim Pac-Man, we got it, buddy. You got the points lead back, too, Ron, and it, and it appeared that this team was in really good form throughout the course of the whole weekend. I, I don't know if I want the points lead back or not. Anybody who's leading the points, something happens to them, and I, I don't know what happened to Johnny in that restart, but uh, he was definitely the, the, the guy to beat tonight in uh, Camping World. ACL, everybody, uh, RVs.com, this is this is awesome. Memphis, thank you, O'Reilly. This is so cool to... to, you to, said to you wanted when you got it. Yeah, I mean, we had two more years of this. This is, you know, next year was the next last one. But uh, I think my wife say all the kids, and thanks for taking it. Something happens to them, and I, I don't know what happened to Johnny in that restart, but uh, he was definitely the, the, the guy to beat tonight. And uh, Camping World, ACL, everybody, uh, RVs.com, this is, this is awesome. Memphis, thank you, O'Reilly. This is so cool to, to, to you when you got it. yeah, I mean, we had two more years of this. This is, you know, next year was the next last one, but uh, I think my wife say all the kids and thanks for taking care of the house and uh, Kevin Delana, thank you. Chevrolet, Silver Autos, they're bad. Congratulations, Ron Hornaday and Victory Lane. That's his third one of 2008. And how about a third consecutive top five finish for Eric Darnell, a runner up tonight. What was the difference late? Because you had a really good truck. We did have a really good truck. Uh, Matt Pusha and all the guys in this Northern Tool and Equipment Ford uh, gave me a really great truck tonight, you know, and uh, I think we made the right adjustments on the pit stops and, and uh, we were able to work our way toward the front. Uh, Ron was just a little bit better than we were on the restarts and, uh, you know, after five, six laps, I think we were about equalized and we started catching him on the long run, but he was better on the restarts and that made the difference at the end. But uh, well, my buddy Jason's riding along with me tonight. I really wanted to pick up the win. Um, me and him were both real good friends with Ron, so uh, I'm, I'm, if we didn't win it, I'm glad to see him win it. And uh, you know, we've, we've been running strong. Uh, we're going to get one of the, another one of these pretty soon here. The momentum has been unbelievable for this team lately. Two weeks off, is it a bad time for you guys? Yeah, anytime you're out of the truck's a bad time. Uh, you know, I, I like to stay in the seat every week, and uh, especially with the way we've been running, we've been strong. Um, you know, the last three weeks have been running really well, and, and even before that, we just had some bad luck. But uh, we're bringing the truck that we won with uh, to Kentucky in a couple weeks, and uh, you know, we ran well there last year, and, and hopefully we'll be able to keep this, uh, these top five runs up. Solid night for Eric Darnell. Well, now let's see how Ron Hornaday and his Camping World RV.com. Chevrolet team had the winning touch in today's race. Able to hang on and stay in front of that 99 on the restart. It had to go 204 laps to decide it, but it was the 33 of Ron Hornaday, victorious once again at Memphis Motorsports Park. Six points out of the lead. Elvis Trophy goes to Ron Hornaday at Memphis Motorsports Park. We'll be right back.